Simon, thank you very much for taking the time to speak to us today about security and availability in the context of the cloud. Can I ask you, first of all, when customers talk to you about security, what are their primary concerns? Yeah, the real concerns, I mean, rather than what's perceived in the marketplace where generally security must be data, it must be the location. Actually, when customers talk around security, it's not just obviously the protection of their data or the controls around their data and where it's actually hosted within the cloud service, but there's other aspects as well. And really kind of breaking that down from a business perspective is you have your technical aspects of security, the access, you know, how secure is the access to the cloud service, uh, the continuity of the cloud service and so forth. And then looking at the business, it's really kind of looking from perspective of having one business ownership, some corporate governance, you know, responsibility, somebody to take accountability to when they look to the due diligence of a cloud supplier, they ask many questions, not just around the actual data, as I said, or the location of the data, but what about the supply chain? So for example, if I'm a customer, I've subscribed into a, a software as a service capability within a cloud, that's going to be running on somebody's infrastructure. That may be a third party. So really kind of looking at this supply chain aspect as well, but also looking around controls and processes that the cloud service provider may have in place. Things around certification, what other continuity aspects do they have, and what planning do they have in place. Given the many reported cloud outages, what would you recommend customers look out for? Obviously, when they're looking to do the due diligence, they need to understand, obviously, look at the contract. Is there flexibility in the contract as well? But ultimately, if you're going to host a, maybe into a infrastructure as a service, looking at compute services within the cloud, is there a capability of having multiple uh, dual sites, uh, multiple sites in specific locations, so you still know where the location of your data is? And what SLAs around that? Because obviously, a lot of cloud providers also provide SLAs around the availability of that infrastructure, well, what about a service level agreement for the actual continuity of that architecture? So I would look towards a recovery time, recovery point objective, SLA driven by the cloud service provider. So if my primary site does go down, that I have continuity of operations within 30 minutes, for example, of a recovery point objective and a recovery time objective. So that's one thing they should look for a cloud supplier. What continuity options do they have? Where do you see the next big leap in cloud? I think what needs to kind of happen now and what may be a big leap would be is one, the interoperability between the environments of a hybrid. So for example, I have a cloud service, but I still have my traditional IT. So obviously the capability of linking those two together. And really what I call is cloud integration architecture is the capability of utilizing cloud services, whether that be in a public, private, but also utilizing my current IT infrastructure as I have today with those links in place and actually having the capability to manage, monitor and also have the availability through one single UI. Simon, thank you very much for your time today. No problem, thank you Nigel.